Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living or a time worth having. When I do these audio casts, I often do them in bulk so that I can have the rest of my day to do my work, to do my scripting, to do my thinking, to do my interacting, to do my negotiating, to do my networking, and to do my relating. Most people are the same. If you're running a business practice for your own individual self, you have to figure out how to use time management correctly so that you are doing your best work on the days that are really better for that versus the days that are right for networking, appointments, and whatnot. Most people will understand there's a rhythm of every type of profession. There's also a timing of every type of condition. What I'm talking about today is sort of interesting but not interesting. You see, if you're a business entrepreneur, then you care about the law of timing. But if you're not an entrepreneur and you're a salesperson that works solely within a company for inside sales, or you're doing some sort of position that is not officially related to the selling of your business, then you might not think that the law of timing is important, but it is. You see, in manufacturing, we have certain timings of how long it takes to build a part. At the same time, we have the law of timing of how long it takes to check the part. At the same time, we have the law of delivery, which is when we have to get that part delivered to satisfy our external consumer, our customer, our clients. And in life, we often have to have lots of meetings with those clients about new properties coming out, new products coming out, new models coming out, and the whatnot. But every human being in America has an idea or two. The question is, what do we do with those ideas, and how do we sell them to companies for their improvements. Sometimes manufacturers have these talk rooms, these chat rooms, where people can say, hey, I love this product, but this is a problem for me. I'm wondering if it's a problem for anyone else or for you, because if it is, then we just streamline the next model and make it better. But in life, we also have ideas that come about from the day-to-day -day aspect of living in and out of a product, which may not be typical. And as a result, we get a lot of other ideas that can be added to a manufacturer's line so that you have sort of add-ons or extras that cost, of course, but are added to a main line. In life, I have been a person who has lived with the condition of, well, not insolvency per se, but certainly indecency, not at all, but impoverishment. And impoverishment came about because of several things. A personal loss in life impacts performance and, sadly, sometimes productivity. At the same time, personal losses of important vital relationships can impact our networking and our sales processes. Additionally, the loss of an individual who is supplemental or supportive or ancillary to our business can impact the progress of a business or a program within the umbrella of an overall business. And everyone in manufacturing and everyone around the world in any business that goes through a personal loss, loss of a colleague or an employee knows this. But in life and over time, we have to recognize that there is a law of timing for every aspect of a business. And I might spend with you six weeks to 12 weeks working on a business plan, marketing of your business, educating you on the true cost of what you choose to sell and do for a living, even if you love it, even if you're a situation of adoring it, that might actually be timing you out of real income, real revenue for your business. At the same time, there's a law of timing of launching things because of the way that life cycles of international, national, and domestic, and local business play out in our overall community. In other words, if you're launching a product for a car company next year, you're probably working on the engineering drawings this year. If you're thinking of marketing yourself into a new opportunity, you usually, unless it's something already available to a lot of people and there's a lot of history behind it, you usually have to be working a quarter ahead in order to get on the books and the appointment schedules of the people who buy your stuff. So when we talk about the law of timing, it's really essential that we understand and grasp that I might have done a marketing plan with you six years ago. 
but we cannot prove with a guarantee or a guaranteed success that the law of timing that when we did that and we did all the research and we did everything is going to apply to the timing of today because technology people society culture interests and needs change over the course of time and almost every day today that's how quick society advances and since there's a plethora of the information and opportunities and tools and technologies and sciences in the marketplace there's a hell of a lot more competition today than there might have been five or ten or fifteen or twenty years ago not only in terms of the people that can perform your job or do your work but in terms of the companies the products and programs that solve the problems of your job 